Have you ever wondered why we dream? Why do we have these vivid, sometimes bizarre experiences while we sleep? And more importantly, what do these dreams reveal about our deepest desires, fears, and aspirations? Today, I want to take you on a journey into the fascinating world of Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of the human mind. But why should we still care about his work in the 21st century? After all, he lived and worked in the early 20th century, a time vastly different from our own. Well, the impact and relevance of Carl Jung's work are enduring, and I believe they hold the key to understanding ourselves and the world around us. Jung's theories and concepts have not only shaped the field of psychology, but have also influenced art, literature, and even popular culture. Think about it. How many times have you heard someone say, I'm an introvert or I'm an extrovert? These terms, which have become part of our everyday language, were popularized by Jung. He introduced the concept of personality types, suggesting that our differences are not random but rather rooted in our innate preferences and tendencies. But Jung's contributions go far beyond personality types. He delved into the realm of the unconscious mind, exploring the depths of our psyche and the archetypal symbols that shape our thoughts and behaviors. He believed that our dreams, fantasies, and even our myths and legends are windows into our collective unconscious, a shared reservoir of human experiences and symbols that transcend time and culture. So, why does this matter today? Well, understanding our unconscious mind can help us navigate the complexities of our modern lives. It can shed light on our motivations, our relationships, and even our creative endeavors. By exploring the depths of our psyche, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and others, fostering empathy, compassion, and personal growth. Furthermore, Jung's work has had a profound impact on fields such as literature, art, and film. Many renowned authors, including Hermann Hesse and James Joyce, were influenced by Jung's ideas, incorporating them into their works. Films like The Matrix and Inception explore the concept of the unconscious mind and the power of dreams, drawing inspiration from Jung's theories. In conclusion, Carl Jung's work is not just a relic of the past. It is a timeless treasure that continues to shape our understanding of the human mind and our place in the world. By delving into the depths of our unconscious, we can unlock hidden truths about ourselves and tap into our full potential. So, let us embark on this journey together, exploring the enduring impact and relevance of Carl Jung's work. 2. Brief History and Background of Carl Jung Carl Gustav Jung, born on July 26, 1875, in Keswell, Switzerland, was a renowned Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the field of psychology, particularly for his development of analytical psychology. Jung's interest in the human mind and its workings began at an early age. As a child, he had a fascination with archaeology, mythology, and religion, which later played a significant role in shaping his theories. After completing his medical studies at the University of Basel, Jung embarked on a journey of self-discovery and exploration of the human psyche. His encounter with Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, in 1907 proved to be a turning point in Jung's career. The two formed a close professional relationship, collaborating on various projects and exchanging ideas. However, their differing views on the nature of the unconscious and the role of sexuality eventually led to their separation in 1913. Jung's break from Freud allowed him to develop his unique approach to psychology, which he called analytical psychology. He delved into the exploration of the collective unconscious, a concept that posits the existence of shared, inherited, and universal psychological patterns and symbols. This idea challenged the prevailing belief that the unconscious was solely personal and subjective. One of Jung's most significant contributions was his theory of personality types, which he developed through his study of dreams, mythology, and cross-cultural symbols. He proposed that individuals possess innate psychological preferences that shape their behavior and perception of the world. These preferences are categorized into four main functions, thinking, 
feeling, sensation, and intuition. Jung's typology, commonly known as the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, MBTI, has become widely used in various fields, including psychology, education, and career counseling. Jung's work extended beyond individual psychology to encompass the study of society and culture. He explored the concept of individuation, the process of integrating the conscious and unconscious aspects of the self to achieve wholeness and self-realization. He emphasized the importance of understanding and embracing one's shadow, the darker and less conscious aspects of the personality, to achieve personal growth and psychological balance. Throughout his life, Jung published numerous influential works, including Psychological Types, Man and His Symbols, and Memories, Dreams, and Reflections. His ideas continue to inspire and influence not only psychologists but also artists, writers, and spiritual seekers. In conclusion, Carl Jung's life and contributions to psychology have left an indelible mark on the field. His exploration of the collective unconscious, his theory of personality types, and his emphasis on individuation have provided valuable insights into the human psyche. Jung's work continues to shape our understanding of the mind and its complexities, offering a holistic approach to psychology that encompasses both the individual and the collective. Now that we have delved into the foundational concepts of Jungian philosophy, let us turn our attention to two interconnected principles that lie at the heart of Carl Jung's work, the collective unconscious and archetypes. Jung proposed that beyond our unconscious, there exists a deeper level of the psyche shared by all human beings. This collective unconscious is a reservoir of inherited experiences and knowledge that transcends individuality. It is the wellspring from which our dreams, myths, and symbols arise. By tapping into the collective unconscious, we gain access to a vast source of wisdom and insight that connects us to the collective human experience. Within the collective unconscious, Jung identified archetypes as universal patterns or primordial images that shape our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. These archetypes are the fundamental building blocks of the human psyche and are expressed through symbols and myths across cultures and throughout history. Examples of archetypes include the mother, the hero, the trickster, and the wise old man. By recognizing and understanding these archetypes, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Another key principle of Jungian philosophy is the concept of individuation, which is the process of self-realization and becoming whole. Individuation involves integrating the various aspects of our psyche, both conscious and unconscious, to achieve a state of psychological balance and harmony. Individuation begins with self-discovery, a journey of exploring and understanding our true selves. This involves uncovering our unconscious motivations, desires, and fears, as well as recognizing our unique strengths and talents. Through self-reflection, introspection, and engaging in practices like dream analysis and active imagination, we can gain insights into our authentic selves. The next step in individuation is the integration of our conscious and unconscious aspects. This means acknowledging and accepting the shadow aspects of our personality the parts we may have repressed or denied. By embracing and integrating these shadow elements, we can achieve a more complete and authentic sense of self. Individuation also involves transcending the limitations of our ego and connecting with something greater than ourselves. This can be achieved through spiritual practices, creative expression, or engaging with the collective unconscious. By transcending our ego and connecting with the deeper aspects of our being, we tap into a source of wisdom and meaning that guides us towards self-realization. In conclusion, exploring the collective unconscious and archetypes, as well as embarking on the journey of individuation, are key principles of Jungian philosophy. By delving into the depths of our psyche, we can uncover hidden truths, gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and others, and ultimately strive towards self-realization and wholeness. Let us embrace these principles and embark on a transformative journey toward a more authentic and fulfilling life. Jung's ideas have had a profound impact on the world of art, inspiring artists to explore the depths of the human psyche and incorporate symbolic imagery into their work. His concept of the collective unconscious, 
which suggests that there are universal archetypes and symbols shared by all humans, has influenced artists in their quest to tap into these shared experiences. Artists such as Salvador Dali, Frida Kahlo, and Max Ernst were deeply influenced by Jung's theories, incorporating dreamlike imagery, symbolism, and exploration of the unconscious into their paintings. Their works often depict surreal landscapes, mythical creatures, and enigmatic symbols, reflecting the inner world of the artist and inviting viewers to delve into their subconscious. Moreover, Jung's emphasis on the integration of opposites and the reconciliation of conflicting elements has also influenced artistic movements like Surrealism and Dadaism. These movements sought to challenge conventional norms and explore the irrational and subconscious aspects of the human mind, aligning with Jung's belief in the importance of embracing the shadow side of our nature. Jung's ideas have also left an indelible mark on the realm of literature. Writers such as Hermann Hesse, James Joyce, and Virginia Woolf drew inspiration from Jung's theories, incorporating elements of the unconscious, symbolism, and the exploration of the self into their literary works. Hesse's novel Steppenwolf delves into the protagonist's journey of self-discovery and the integration of his dualistic nature, echoing Jung's concept of individuation. Joyce's masterpiece Ulysses employs stream-of-consciousness narrative techniques, reflecting the fragmented nature of the human psyche and the multiplicity of perspectives. Wolfe's novel To the Lighthouse explores the inner lives of her characters, delving into their subconscious desires and fears. Jung's ideas have provided writers with a rich tapestry of psychological themes to explore, allowing them to delve into the complexities of human nature and the depths of the unconscious mind. By incorporating Jungian concepts into their works, these authors have expanded the literary landscape and offered readers a deeper understanding of the human experience. Jung's influence extends beyond the realms of psychology, art, and literature into the realm of spirituality. His exploration of the collective unconscious and the existence of archetypes resonated with individuals seeking a deeper connection to the spiritual dimensions of life. Jung's concept of the self representing the integration of the conscious and unconscious aspects of the psyche, has found resonance in various spiritual traditions. It aligns with the Eastern concept of enlightenment and the Western idea of self-realization, emphasizing the importance of inner harmony and the pursuit of wholeness. Furthermore, Jung's emphasis on the exploration of dreams, symbols, and the unconscious has influenced spiritual practices such as dream analysis, active imagination, and meditation. These practices aim to uncover hidden aspects of the self, facilitate personal growth, and foster a deeper connection with the divine. Jung's ideas have also influenced the field of transpersonal psychology, which explores the spiritual dimensions of human experience. Transpersonal psychologists draw upon Jung's concepts to understand and integrate spiritual experiences, mystical states, and the transformative potential of spiritual practices. In conclusion, Jung's influence extends far beyond the field of psychology. His ideas have permeated the realms of art, literature, and spirituality, inspiring artists to explore the depths of the human psyche, writers to delve into the complexities of the self, and individuals to seek a deeper connection with the spiritual dimensions of life. Jung's legacy continues to shape and enrich these fields, offering a profound understanding of the human experience and the potential for personal growth and transformation. In addition to the impact of Jung's theories on understanding the human psyche, his ideas have also found practical application in the field of psychology and personal growth. One of the key concepts derived from Jungian psychology is the process of individuation, which refers to the journey of self-discovery and self-realization. Individuation involves integrating the conscious and unconscious aspects of the psyche, leading to a more balanced and authentic sense of self. In the modern world, where individuals often struggle with issues such as identity crises, anxiety, and a lack of purpose, Jung's concept of individuation offers a valuable framework for personal growth and development. By exploring the depths of our unconscious and embracing the shadow aspects of our personality, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and work towards achieving wholeness. Moreover, Jung's emphasis on the collective unconscious and archetypes has also proven relevant in addressing modern challenges. 
In a world that is becoming increasingly interconnected, understanding the collective unconscious can help us recognize the universal patterns and symbols that shape our collective experiences. By tapping into these archetypal energies, we can gain insight into the shared human experiences and find common ground with others, fostering empathy and compassion. Furthermore, Jung's concept of the anima and animus, representing the feminine and masculine aspects of each individual, has become particularly relevant in the context of gender identity and equality. By acknowledging and integrating both the feminine and masculine qualities within ourselves, we can transcend societal expectations and embrace a more fluid and inclusive understanding of gender. Jung's theories also offer valuable insights into the nature of dreams and the unconscious mind. Dreams, according to Jung, are a window into the unconscious and can provide valuable guidance and messages for our waking lives. By exploring and interpreting our dreams, we can gain access to hidden aspects of ourselves and uncover unresolved conflicts or desires. This can be particularly helpful in therapy, as dreams often serve as a powerful tool for self-reflection and healing. In conclusion, Jung's ideas continue to hold relevance in the modern world, offering valuable insights into the human psyche and providing practical tools for personal growth and development. By embracing concepts such as individuation, the collective unconscious, archetypes, and dream analysis, we can navigate the complexities of the modern world with greater self-awareness, empathy, and a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. As we continue to face new challenges and strive for personal fulfillment, Jung's theories serve as a guiding light illuminating the path toward a more integrated and meaningful existence. Now that we have explored the foundational concepts of Jungian psychology, let's delve into the practical application of these principles. One real-life example of applying Jungian principles can be found in the field of psychotherapy. Imagine a client named Sarah who seeks therapy to address her recurring nightmares. Sarah's dreams are filled with vivid and unsettling imagery, leaving her feeling anxious and disturbed upon waking. By utilizing dream analysis, a powerful tool in Jungian psychology, the therapist can help Sarah uncover the hidden messages and symbols within her dreams. Dream analysis involves exploring the unconscious symbols and archetypes that appear in dreams allowing individuals to gain insight into their inner world. In Sarah's case, the therapist would encourage her to recall and describe her dreams in detail, paying attention to recurring themes, emotions, and symbols. Through this process, Sarah may discover that her nightmares are connected to unresolved childhood trauma. As the therapist guides Sarah through the interpretation of her dreams, they may uncover a repressed shadow aspect within her psyche. The shadow represents the darker, unconscious aspects of our personality that we often reject or deny. In Sarah's case, her nightmares may be a manifestation of her repressed fear and anger stemming from past experiences. To address this, the therapist would introduce shadow work as a practical tool. Shadow work involves acknowledging, integrating, and embracing these hidden aspects of ourselves. Through various techniques such as journaling, visualization, and dialogue, Sarah can begin to explore and understand her shadow. By shining a light on her repressed emotions and experiences, Sarah can gradually heal and integrate these aspects into her conscious awareness. As Sarah progresses in her therapy, she may notice a shift in her dreams. The nightmares may transform into more positive and empowering symbols, reflecting her growing self-awareness and integration of the shadow. This transformation signifies the healing and growth that can occur through the practical application of Jungian principles. In addition to dream analysis and shadow work, other practical tools derived from Jungian psychology can be employed in various contexts. Active imagination, for instance, allows individuals to engage in a dialogue with their unconscious through creative visualization and exploration. This technique can be used to gain insights, find solutions to personal challenges, and foster personal growth. Furthermore, the concept of individuation, which emphasizes the development of one's unique self, can be applied in career counseling. By encouraging individuals to align their career choices with their authentic selves, 
they can find greater fulfillment and purpose in their professional lives. In conclusion, Jungian psychology offers a wealth of practical tools that can be applied in various contexts. Dream analysis, shadow work, active imagination, and the pursuit of individuation are just a few examples of how these principles can be utilized to facilitate personal growth, healing, and self-discovery. By engaging with these tools, individuals can embark on a transformative journey toward wholeness and integration. So, let us embrace the practical application of Jungian psychology and unlock the hidden depths of our psyche for a more fulfilling and authentic life. In exploring the ideas of Carl Jung, it becomes evident that his work intersects with the thoughts of other influential philosophers throughout history. One such philosopher is Friedrich Nietzsche, who also delved into the realm of the unconscious mind. Nietzsche's concept of the will to power aligns with Jung's belief in the collective unconscious and the driving forces that shape human behavior. Both philosophers recognize the importance of understanding the deeper motivations that guide our actions. Another philosopher whose ideas resonate with Jung's is Martin Heidegger. Heidegger's concept of being in the world aligns with Jung's emphasis on the integration of the individual within their environment. Both thinkers recognize the interconnectedness of the self and the world, emphasizing the importance of understanding our place in the larger context of existence. Furthermore, the existentialist philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre also shares some common ground with Jung. Sartre's notion of bad faith can be seen as parallel to Jung's concept of the persona, the mask we wear to conform to societal expectations. Both philosophers highlight the importance of authenticity and self-awareness in navigating the complexities of human existence. Jung's ideas have also fostered connections with other influential philosophers throughout history. From Nietzsche's exploration of the unconscious to Heidegger's emphasis on the integration of self and world, and Sartre's focus on authenticity, Jung's work resonates with the broader philosophical discourse. The lasting legacy of Carl Jung lies in his ability to bridge the gap between psychology and philosophy, offering a holistic approach to understanding the human experience. By recognizing the interconnectedness of the individual and the collective, Jung's ideas continue to inspire and guide individuals in their journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. As we continue to explore the depths of the human psyche, we owe a debt of gratitude to Carl Jung for his profound insights and his enduring impact on the fields of psychology and philosophy. Up until next time, take care and see you soon.